Potter Puppets, oh, welcome back to my channel. Today is haul day. Yesterday you saw all the shops I visited. We went on a shop crawl, not a pub crawl, a shop crawl. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up there. Go watch that one before you watch this one because I did say you've got to guess what I bought, if you can. You didn't have to write in the comments, but keep it in your head. But yeah, today is about what I bought from these shops. Now, can I remember which shop I bought which in? No, but that might help you if you go watch the other video if you like something from this haul because then you'll know which shop it was in. We're just gonna do it that way. I might remember as I pick items up. In fact, I do remember the three there's three items here and there's a bag full as well. On my days I went a bit mad. I love Halloween and I love fall. All right. We're going to start off with this in my hand that's not on camera yet. Matt picked this. He picked this and it is gorgeous. We've got, look, we've got a pumpkin cookie jar. How gorgeous is that? It is glass. It was six pound i do believe and this was from tk max slash home sense because they've joined into one so yeah we've got a nice pumpkin jar there and i absolutely love it it is gorgeous it is cute it is a pumpkin and i am obsessed with pumpkins there is something wrong with me do you know last year when they brought pumpkins out and i thought oh my days i am loving pumpkins absolutely loving pumpkins so much and I was a bit obsessed and I did buy quite a few pumpkin things quite a few but this year they're all back in so I'm rather happy so I can add to my pumpkin collection <laughs> okay this next thing right if you love a pumpkin you love fall Halloween you're gonna cry when you see this you're not even ready for this are you it's a pumpkin teapot guys it's a pumpkin teapot how gorgeous is this pumpkin teapot <coughs> I don't know why I showed you inside, there's no tea. I will never use it for tea because it will stay in the inside. It's just for display in the kitchen, okay? This is from Asda, I remembered. It is from Asda and I fell in love with it and it had to go in my basket. Would it not go in your basket though, seriously? Look at it, it's cute. I like teapots anyway, but it's a pumpkin teapot. I like teapots and pumpkins, both of them put together, then yeah, I'm gonna be obsessed over this teapot. Moving on. <sighs> Where's this from? Uh, this is from b and this is from b and I'm just, yeah, but it's not in order this, is it, at all. There is a, another thing from TK Maxx and probably a bit more from Asda. But this is from b and Oh, look, it's fake. I kill real plants, all right? I don't mean to. I'm not nasty. I don't do it on purpose. It just happens. I'm bad, all right? I am so bad. I don't know how my kids have survived. Seriously, I'm joking. <laughs> but yeah, we've got a fake plant that actually looks quite real. I'm Stop faking on my face. I'm not going to lie. That does actually look quite real. And then it's in a pumpkin plant pot. Um, yes. With stars. Another thing that I love. It's magical and full and Halloween. It's beautiful. This was five pound. And it says the witching hour on there a lot. <laughs> but yeah, five pound, I didn't think that was bad. B&M's a bargain anyway. Every shop I went in has bargains, to be fair. The teapot was six pound. The pumpkin cookie jar was six pound. This was five pound. So far, so good. We're remembering what shops. You might not need to go watch the shop tour, but I would, because you might see something that I didn't buy that you think, I need that in my life. Right, we'll move away from pumpkins for a minute. Where was this from? This, I believe, I believe, this is from Primark. It's a toadstool candle. <laughs> How could you not? How much was you? £3.50. Look, not lying to you. £3.50. For, oh, it says Primark at the bottom. Look, there, look, there. £3.50 from Primark. It's a very good size. I mean, it's like over half the size of my face. And I don't have a small head. I don't have a big head, but it's not small. It's about average. So think of an average head and then you'll know. This is quite a big candle for £3.50 and it's a toadstool. Will I light it? I don't want to because I'm going to ruin it but I will light it in the autumn months coming up with my pumpkin candles that I've got. Yes, I have pumpkin everything. 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 I don't have pumpkin shoes though. That's, I've got pumpkin jewellery but I don't have shoes and I don't think I will get pumpkin shoes. If I did it would have to be some sort of slipper. Why am I talking about this? But yeah, toadstool candle absolutely gorgeous £3.50 Primark bargain we're still going to move away this is from B&M this was £3.50 yeah we're moving away from the pumpkin still we've got a candlestick holder now you might be thinking Susie why on earth did you buy that right let me just tell you one thing it's £3.50 and let me see what it's made of because you know what I'm like with um 
uh, materials. It's heavy. It's some sort of metal. It's not going to tell me. That's fine. You don't then. <laughs> it says always follow the candle manufacturer's safety instructions, but I just read always follow the candle. <laughs> okay, whatever. But yeah, we've got a, a foot of a bird. <laughs> but it's a candlestick holder and it, it screams Halloween. Right, I just kicked you, I'm sorry. I don't know if you felt that, but I apologise. I hope it didn't hurt. But it also gives me Ravenclaw vibes. This is why I bought it, because I was like, Ravenclaw, yes, my house. I love candlestick holders as well. Got quite a few, not well, not, no, I haven't actually, I'm lying. I need more, I don't have a lot. But yeah, we've got a candlestick holder as a, uh, a foot of a bird. £3.50 from B&M, and it is a very good heavy sturdy the base actually screws off because i was when i was looking at my foot oh they're a bit wobbly but then i realized you can just screw it tighter because i didn't want a wobbly one because my candlestick could fall out my ass will catch fire safety first guys moving on okay so last year i tell you where got me obsessed with pumpkins hobbycraft hobbycraft did pumpkins um, and I did get some really nice pumpkins from Hobbycraft last year, but I was a bit late getting them and they didn't have a lot left. But this year, I am on ball. They've brought them back. Um, I got a tiny one. Here they are from Hobbycraft, aren't they? Yes, they are. It says Hobbycraft on the ticket there. But yeah, we've got a little mini one here, and I think that one was like a pound, I think. Don't quote me on it. I th it was very cheap anyway. And then this one. I think it was. I remember spending a five all together. This one was four pound. How cute are they? I mean, how can you not love pumpkins? Look at that. It's so cute. But yeah, this one was four pound. The mini one was a pound. I remember spending a fiver anyway. But they do lots of different sizes and different colours as well. Last year, I didn't buy an orange one. So this year, it was like, yes, you've got them back in. And I'm going to get an orange one. We're going to go for the traditional pumpkin colour. Right, back to pumpkins. We'll get into my favourite pumpkin in a minute as well. This was from Primark. This was £3.50. It's a pumpkin jar, but it's not just a pumpkin jar. It is a candle. And it smells beautiful. Orange. Or does that just mean the colour? It doesn't smell like orange. It smells beautiful. But it doesn't smell like orange. What do you think? It's nice. It is really nice. And then I like things like this because... Hang on. Primark. Right, so... The sellotape has peeled some of the paintwork off. Stop focusing on my face. Look, you can see there, it's on the sellotape. Let me show you. Look, you can see the orange on the sellotape. Do you know what? I'm not like massively mad, but just think about what you do in shops, not just Primark. It's not done it to the lid. We're all right with the lid, but it's done it to the pot. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna kick off. I'm not gonna email Primark. We're all right. We're all right. But I get why. Obviously, they need to put the lid down for obviously when you buy it and you're have it in travel yourself to take it home, because it's only a loose lid. Um, and obviously, I get why it's taped down to get to Primark, but. Masking tape would have been a bit nicer. It wouldn't have peeled the paint off. You should test these things, but it smells nice. But yeah, anyway, what I was going to say was, when the candle's gone, you've still got the jar. Because I've got one or two other one pumpkin candles that are like that. But yeah, no, three. Uh, three. But yeah, I love it so much. It is gorgeous. I have still got items to show you. Stay there. I am actually saving my favourite pumpkin to last. Saving that for last. But this was from Home Bargains. And it doesn't have the price on it. Bit of ASMR. Um, I can't see the price. Hang on, let me have a look. Um, I think it was like £2.50 to £3. It definitely wasn't more than £3. Definitely not. But we've got a Disney, licensed Disney Hocus Pocus book of spells. And it's got one of them. You know I'll never write in it. Those of you that have been with me for a while, you know I don't write in my notebooks. But on the back, it says Disney Hocus Pocus on the back there. And Disney there, the, the trademark thing there. It's got gold foil in, can't go wrong. Let me open her up. We've got heart, we've got a cauldron. With nice black and the cauldron really pops, that is nice. And then it, these look, Hocus Pocus on all the pages. Nice lined paper. It's quite a nice paper too. And then on the back... 
cauldron again. I'm so nosy. Someone's just walking past. They're not even looking in my window, but I'm staring at them. It's a good job. I do it a lot. Does anyone else do that? Window monitor. Do you window monitor at home? And I think I can remember a bloke walking past once. And I was just staring at him through the living room window when I was downstairs walking past. And he looked at me and it scared him. Because I was just staring at him. From behind the curtain, may I add. So I looked really creepy. I need to stop. But yeah, £2.50, £3. For a licensed Disney book. And, 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 look at the pages. They're gold foiling as well on the edges. Stop focusing on my face. I know, I know you love me. Gold foiling. Stop focusing on my face. Focus on the book. Now my hands look really big against my head. Now look what you've made me do, camera. Absolute bargain. Right, this last thing I'm going to show you. I saw this and I fell in love with it and this was £6. And the reason why I definitely remember the price of this, £5.99 actually to be exact. But the reason why I remember the price of this so much is because... It was the last one on the shelf. Doesn't mean there won't be any for anyone, but in that certain shop at the time, they'll probably, they've probably got more out now, but there was one and it didn't have a label on it, but there was a pumpkin next to it that was the same size. And I did say that the other one that was the same size was $5.99, but it was a different like style pumpkin. Um, she found out and it was $5.99, but guys, tell me when I show you this that you're not obsessed with this. It's everything that I love. It is a pumpkin, it is fantasy looking, it is glittery, I love teal, because I would say this is a teal colour. What is not to love? But yeah, this was £5.99. I apps, I'm obsessed, and I don't know where I'm going to put this yet, but all my pumpkins do actually stay out all year round. Um, the thing is though, because I love Harry Potter, you can kind of say that I've got a pumpkin patch. Does that make sense? And my kitchen that is nearly done, and I can't wait to show you, is Herbology. So things like the pumpkin teapot can stay out all the time because we've kind of gone Herbology, obviously plant life and things, so the pumpkin teapot can stay in there. And I'm thinking, because obviously with it being Herbology kitchen, I do have a few fake plants, that this will go in the kitchen as well. But what do you think to this one? I love it. I love it. So yeah, what, what, what are your thoughts? Do you like pumpkins? Are you obsessed with pumpkins like me? I know that might be hard to beat. I know one of my friends, Penny, is as obsessed with pumpkins as I am and Halloween and fall and everything. But yeah, for those of you that watched the shop crawl yesterday, I hope you enjoyed it. Did you see anything you liked within the shops that I went round? And did anything of this catch your eye and you're gonna wanna go get it yourself? But yeah, I am honestly all f not fulled out. I'm not fulled and Halloweened out, not yet, because it's not even time. But I thought it's the perfect time to show you what's in these shops and, you know, what I've bought for fall this year, because it's nice to get them in early. I'm going to go because I can finally find some homes for these because they've been sat in a Primark bag just to the side because I needed to film. But now I can put them in their places and enjoy my pumpkins and my total and my my um, candlestick bird foot. Thank you so much for watching guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. You know I love it when you do. Talk to me in the comments about anything you want, even if it's nothing to do with this video. Let me know how you all are, but talk to me in the comments because this is, that's my favorite bit. This is my favorite bit, getting to chat with you in the comments. But I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye Potter Poppets.